Hello wonderful person. Let's leave our planet Earth and go for a bit of a 360 adventure. This is going to be a 360 video so you can actually rotate your view. We're going to the newly rediscovered TRAPPIST-1 system with its 7 Earth-like planets. The supercooled dwarf, only 8% mass of the Sun. Here's all of them aligned together for a size comparison. First Trappist planet only takes about one and a half days to orbit and is extremely hot. One year here is almost the same as one day on Earth, but due to the proximity to the star, it's exceptionally unfriendly to humans. Second Trappist planet is maybe a bit cooler, but is still not very bearable for humans. Third planet, however, is within the habitable zone and hypothetically may actually contain liquid water. It's quite the same for the fourth planet, which is even farther away, so it might actually be even cooler than TRAPPIST 3D. However, each of these planets are tidally locked, so part of them is always extremely hot. Specifically the part that is always facing the star. And the other part on the opposite side is always extremely cold and probably contains ice caps similar to those on planet Earth. Now three of these planets, specifically D, E and F, are within that habitable zone and are possibly full of water. Or at least have some water on the uh, twilight area of the planet in between the hot and the cool zones.
The last two planets, G and H, are a little bit too cold, but may still contain a lot of water in ice form. Each of them has very unusual structure, and each of them has probably surface that we have never seen before. Also, each of them may be completely empty, as their parent star may actually be very active, have a lot of flares, and may have actually stripped them from everything, atmosphere and water. Nevertheless, this is the most exciting system we've discovered so far, at least in the last few decades, and we're definitely going to try to study it a little bit more. And anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this adventure, and thank you so much for watching. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe to this channel because there's so many more 360 and space related videos coming in the future. I'll see you guys tomorrow, come back to learn something completely different, something new, something you probably didn't know. Space out, and as always, bye bye.